Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I was literally doing the reading, all right, and then it literally stopped and it flipped back over to my YouTube app. So I don't know exactly what happened. So I'm leaving the energy on the table and I'm going to try and do this video again. Okay? I didn't get very far on the first half at all. It was really weird. But anyway, as promised also, I told you yesterday that on the 6 p.m. video from yesterday, I was going to be pulling one person's question and answering it on the 6 p.m. video today. So behind here, I have one person's random question. At the end of this reading, we will be answering the question. Ooh, it's doing something weird again. Okay, I'm still on. I don't know what. That never. I don't think that's ever happened. That was extremely weird. Okay, so we've got the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Sun, the Queen of Pentacles down here on the table. So it looks like you got somebody that is possibly uh, extending an olive branch here, reaching out to you here. Maybe they got uh, some kind of proposition that they want to propose to you. Knight of Swords typically and always removes obstacles, basically, at the end of the day. That's what the Knight of Swords always does, removes obstacles. The Sun, the Divine Masculine Energy down here on the table, it's the happiest card in the deck. It illuminates everything, and it gives life to everything around it. Okay, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. This could be your person's energy. It could be your energy, but she is very abundant, very prosperous, has a tendency to be looked at as a little bit lazy on the negative side. So we're going to just get right into this. We're going to talk to the Queen of Pentacles, and we're going to see why the Queen of Pentacles is in this person's energy. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in this person's energy, please? Why is the Queen of Pentacles in this person's energy, please? Why is the Queen of Pentacles in this person's energy? Thank you. Oh boy, hold on just a second. Jeez. Oh, okay. The Queen of Pentacles is in this person's energy because this person is very much lustful for you, whoever this is. They lust after you. This person is hoping that you're going to show up here uh, on a lion, come to their house, and you'll already have your clothes off. Okay? That's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. So why is this person so... Why are they lusting after Pisces? Why are they lusting after you? I'm going to be very strategic with the card placements. Because I'm not going to draw things on the cards. I just can't do it. It just ruins the energy for me. But protection stones don't. And protection, well, Anthony's protection star doesn't. Okay. Well, obviously this person is lusting after you because they feel a powerful connection to you. Yeah. Somebody's wanting to start something very serious here with you. Let's go a little bit more here on that world. World, world, world. A little bit more on that world. But, there are some fears here. Okay. So what are, what is this person's fears here? What are they, their fears? Okay. Well, their fears here are, it's like they're afraid that you guys might not have an, a lot of opportunities to see each other, and they're afraid that they may fuck this up. Well, how would this person screw this up? How, how would they screw this up? How would they screw this up? Oh 
probably Pisces. So, uh, this is like, um, maybe they feel like, I feel like they're doubting themselves. They're, they're doubting themselves. Like, maybe they're not good enough. Maybe they don't have a lot of capabilities here. Like, it could be... It's just a lot of insecurity here. Basically. Okay, so... That's perfectly normal. That's not anything that's not a normal. Right, Bailiff? He's like, I'm sleeping, Mama. He's like, you could just rub me. I don't have to be rubbed. I will show you the Bailiff's... Um, baby photos, his first baby photo at the end of the reading. Uh, yesterday was the day that was eight years ago that I brought him into the house. But he was born, yeah. He was July 2nd baby, but yeah. But, anyway, I brought him in the house eight years ago today when I found him in my chicken coop. My little chicken coop boy. Yeah, I'm trying to suck off the chicken teats. They don't even have teats. He's like, I know that now, Mama. Okay, <laughs> so what is the obstacle here that this person is feeling here? What's the, what's this obstacle here? Show me the obstacle. Obstacle. What is the obstacle? Okay, it's the star. What's this obstacle with the star? What's this obstacle with the star? Okay. This person is very much intimidated. They feel like you're very hard to reach. Okay? And you're very hard to reach because you're a powerful manifester and you seem to be very busy so they feel like you're very out of reach because you're extremely busy maybe it's with your job may it could be I don't know but they feel like you are hard to reach because you are busy and this is an obstacle that they want to get rid of they don't want it there, okay? Knight of Swords does not want obstacles in his way because at the end of the day, knights are there to fight the war, to win the war, to protect the king, the queen, the generational wealth, as well as the kingdom. So knights, Knight of Swords is very specific, okay? Knight of Pentacles would be more like of a, like, like, they're from England. They're more of like, growers. They don't fight. They're very Christian oriented. I know this is starting to sound weird, but it is. Okay. So you're hard to reach. So, what's this? Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh, that was the Four of Cups. Disappointment. So, yeah, there's some disappointment here because you're hard to reach. So, mm, 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 mm. let's talk to the sun, please. The sun. So, somebody's like, Whoever this is wants to be with you, but it's like this element of, well, what's going to happen here? What's going to happen? Like, I'm trying to, whoever this is, is trying to be, they're open to having a connection with you. They're just open to it. But there's like this kind of like, they're, it's, why do I want to say this? Other than they're, they're just really open. They know what they want here. And what they want is a relationship. To take a risk. To take a gamble. 
But you're coming off very hard to reach, Pisces, for whatever reason. Hmm. Okay. Ace of Wands. Let's talk to the Ace of Wands. So why is the Ace of Wands here, please, in this person's energy? Ace of Wands, why is it here? What's the Ace of Wands with Temperance, please? And whoever this is, okay, this person here, I'm sorry, they want to indulge on you, on you, in you, whatever you want to say. I can't even talk. <laughs> but yeah, they want to indulge with you. That's all I'm getting. I want to indulge with Pisces. And when I say indulge, I'm really getting this strong energy of them really wanting to indulge. It's like they want to drink you up like you're fine wine, which you all are fine wine. I see y'all out there looking all good and sexy. Mm. Okay. So I am going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to pull one card for each sign, and then I'll show Bela if Louis, well, I'll answer one person's random question and then you guys can get to see bailiff louie's first baby photo and it's of me and him together he's so cute oh my god he looks the same as he did when i first met him his ears even were the same size his ears never grew <laughs> he always had big ears pisces dealing with pisces sure they've walked away could be temporary cancer Cancer, they're thinking about you. Scorp. <clears throat> Scorp. Be communication between you and a Scorpio here. Looks like lots of it. Aries. 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 You guys are not talking. Leo. Okay, Leo's got feelings for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, okay, you guys are not talking, uh, Libra, thank you, uh, Libra feels a strong soulmate connection to you, Gemini, <laughs> Gemini, looks like Gemini is going to do something impulsive here, uh, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius feels like there's a blockage here. Uh, Virgo. Uh, Virgo feels like something needs to change here. Taurus. Taurus. Okay, Taurus feels you like you're just really hot. And happity capity, how do you feel about Pisces? Cap cap. Cap cap. Capricorn, Capricorn wants it beginning with you. Okay, so now it is question time. Um, da, 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 da. I'm going to clear off the table first. Swing. Okay. Swing. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and lay that person's question. It's Vanessa, Vanessa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Vanessa and Vanessa, will I end up in my own place soon? Will Vanessa and Vanessa end up in her own place soon? Whoa. Ooh. It's saying no. But it's... The reason it's saying no is because... There's something that's keeping you stuck there. What? What's keeping Vanessa and Vanessa stuck there? 
Okay. You haven't heard back. You have not heard back from the one place you want to hear back from. So what can Vanessa and Vanessa do to get her own place soon? What can she do to help get her own place soon? What can she do here? Okay. Okay. There's something here that you're not dealing with that you need to deal with to get your own place soon. So that's what they're telling me right now, that there's something here that you're not dealing with that you need to deal with so that you can get your own place soon. But if you don't deal with whatever you're not dealing with, I don't know what you're not dealing with. You're not going to get your own place. Okay, so you do have control over this, but there's something here that you're not dealing with that you need to deal with. Is there any advice we can give Vanessa, please? Any other advice I can give Vanessa, Vanessa? Okay. What is going on here? Vanessa and Vanessa, what's going on here? Are you in a marriage? This is... These two cards, the King and the Queen of Cups, came up for you, Vanessa and Vanessa. Are you in a partnership? Are you in another marriage here? Are you trapped in a relationship? What's going on here? I don't know why this is giving me this. Or is this, are you living with your mother and your father? This could be you're living with your mother. Or you just need to nurture yourself and not become too, uh emotionally overwhelmed this is i don't know vanessa and vanessa i don't know that's but yeah that's i try to get more information here to help you maybe you need to ask for help from maybe a grandma grandpa mom dad something like that but there's something that you're not dealing with that you need to deal with so that you can get this offer here but until you deal with this thing you're not going to get your own place soon and i'm sorry i want to give you the goodest I want to give you, I want to tell you what you want to hear, but I can't, I can't tell you lies. So I can only just tell you what I can tell you. Okay. So I hope that helps. I'm going to go ahead and grab my little boy's, um, pictures. Little boy's pictures. Where is it? Little boy's. Okay. So here is the first picture I ever took with Bailiff Louie, my little chewy chewy. Isn't he cute? He was so, so, so tiny. Look at that. Wasn't that just the sweetest face? I'm going to show you another picture. <laughs> it's a cute picture. And there he is when my brother, when I was at work, <laughs> my brother would watch him and my brother took that photo. That was when my brother lived with me. Isn't he just the cutest? And then I'm going to show you a picture of Bailiff with a, bow, with a tie on. Yes, he does wear ties. Look at that. So, I just wanted to show you the Bailiff, as always. So, I love you, Vanessa, Vanessa. I hope that message finds you well. And thank you to everyone who stuck around. You know what to do. Tarot's adjourned.